Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Isaac. Today we are checking out a new character. This is the Enlightened Keeper. A new mod has come out that is adding enlightened versions of the different characters. So far we have Enlightened Blue Baby and Enlightened Keeper. I don't really know anything about the characters. The description's pretty vague. Basically, we start with 99 money and our money is our life is all I really know. And then everything is going to cost us money as well. So we get the pale here, which... Cost us one money, interestingly. We've got the Selfish Sack here as well, which I don't know what that does. Intriguing. Uh, but this is a pretty good one. Ooh, we get um, Coin Tears. I wonder if that's just style, if they can actually spawn coins. Um, and we get Quad Shot. So pretty decent off the bat here. And also, wow, that is uh, pretty good. Oh, even picking up stuff like that costs us. Okay, let's leave that on the floor for now. So like this bomb... Yeah, that cost us one coin. And you can see that our health there is is these stacks of coins. So we've got to be a little more wary about how we uh, how we used to. So does this just pick up money as normal? No, it didn't. But it did give us a damage increase, though. So are we capped on our... Like, can we not get physically... Can we not get any more money? Because I picked up money then, and it gave me a stat increase. Which is, is pretty, actually, pretty good, actually, but... Not what I was expecting. So that didn't give us anything. I'm guessing there's no compatibility there. Um, crack that open. We got a card. That did do stuff. I'll take the door stop here. Okay, this is intriguing. This is intriguing. It n Now that we have a, a nickel in the slot in our top left, maybe the selfish sack will do something. Now, I'm not really seeing what the selfish sack does. I'm not really seeing what that does for us at the moment. Ooh. I will indeed smelt my trinket, thank you. That's pretty good stuff. I'm a, yeah, I'm a little wary. I wonder if on the next floor I'm going to get a bunch of money. This is this is interesting. Also, I have to say, I really, 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 really like the sprite work on this character. I think he looks really, really good. Um, very intriguing look to him. Uh, I haven't used my, my pail yet. I'm probably going to save it for the boss. You can use the pail to open up uh, secret rooms. It fills the room with poop and stuff as well. Ooh, should we check out the shop? See, this is the thing. I don't know... If I should be spending my money or not. Ooh, that is, that is cheap. Randomly moves you to the next floor. Void is the last possible floor at the Ascension. Okay. Kind of a floor skip. Um, wait, is it is it an active? It is an active. Okay. We probably don't want to go for that then. Because I'd actually really like to keep the pale. I think it's a really, really good um, active item. It is an eight room charge, which is a little expensive. But I I'm just curious what the selfish stack does. Can we have a little look-see? Um, removes a pickup near Isaac. Interesting. Okay, let's let's see how see if we can work that out. Work out what the value in that is. So, but what did that do for us? Did that give us money? I I wasn't checking. I should have I should have paid more attention to see if that that uh, gave us money back because that might be our only way of gaining money. Anyways, let's pop in here. We'll pop this, and we got a holy one as well. There, it's really nice. Beautiful stuff. Okay, so does items cost us money? Any more than... Okay, it just costs us one. And then that's actually potentially really, really good. I don't want the pill. Let's uh, drop the pill. Oh, dude, dropping stuff is a bad idea. Nah, I don't think that did anything for us. I'm wondering what the... Uh... Maybe, maybe that's just to prevent yourself from taking accidental damage. Like if there's a blockage in a doorway... Um, it makes sure that you don't have to walk through coins and lose HP. I'm going to guess that's what it is, but I'm not entirely sure on that. Okay. So that's a special coin. Picking that up did give us money. Okay, picking up that up did give us money. So there is definitely ways for us to gain money. It's not like we have a completely finite resource. But still, we're going to want to be a bit picky and choosy about how we spend it by the looks of things. Ooh, we get into the boss trap for free, which is rather nice. Ooh, a golden penny. Oh, whoa. The golden penny is uh, a little broken. We got some fire out of that. Okay, this is confusing. I think my Golden Penny mod broke things a little bit there. <laughs> I think it did some funky stuff with a Golden Penny. 
I like that golden penny mod, but it does it does tend to do some weird stuff. Right, so Nichols. Nick, that one didn't give us a setup. Dude, we have minus 100 luck. Ooh. Well, that was pretty useful. <laughs> it's a really good item for us, actually. Okay, so I don't need any more bombs. So bombs I can get rid of. So, yeah, Selfish Sack isn't doing anything. It'd be nice if uh, doing this added one penny to you. Because I'm, I'm fairly certain now that the only reason that exists is to um, make sure that you can get past certain doors and stuff without taking um, any money damage, should I say. Uh, but it'd be nice if it returned one coin to you for doing so. Oh my god, we got so much damage right now, by the way. So much damage. Could use a bit of extra fire rate, definitely. But our damage is, is feeling real good right now. I haven't been hit yet, so I don't know how much money I'm going to lose on taking damage, which I'm a bit scared about. I don't want to use that card there. Yeah, I'm a little bit worried about that, because I feel like I'm going to end up taking a ton of money damage. But so far, I'm in intrigued by this character. It's definitely not what I'd expect. When coming into this, this isn't what I was predicting I'd be uh, I'd be playing with here. I was expecting something a bit more akin to um, a version of... I you got some money out of that. I was expecting something more akin to a version of um, Tarnished Keeper. So we got a health up there. That didn't actually do anything for us. Yeah, I, thought, I was expecting like a Tarnished Keeper, but without the active item. Ooh, I got hit there. So, I see. So, I, I th that slot up there is is something I can fill for stats. So, I've got to be really careful about what I fill that with. So, trying to get a nickel here is very worthwhile. Because if we do, we can refill that slot and that will give us our damage back. Ah ha ha! I like it. And it kind of acts like a holy mantle in the way that it protects our regular health bar. Okay, I did get hit there again. So, I lost my nickel again. We definitely want to try and keep a nickel in there because that's a good amount of damage that it adds. A really, really good amount of damage that I don't want to be missing out on. Now, Devil Deals, how do they work, do we reckon? Very, very cheap, apparently. Very, very cheap. Okay. Keep it going. We're at 69 coins right now, which isn't ideal. Apparently, there's an, a, a Soul of Azazel up in that room over there, but I'm too far away from that now to care. As for your uh, question of the day today, if you were to do an enlightened character of this type, what would be your alternate version of a character, and what would be your favourite one to see? So enemies dropping fires when they die is pretty nice here. Decent deliverance item. If we can get the trinket that does something similar as well, that'd be real, real good. But yeah, this is really good for enemies that spawn other enemies. You can do a nice chain reaction. I believe the fire size and strength is based on the enemy's HP as well. Really don't want to get hit on my regular health here, because I, I don't want to figure out what happens. Dude, getting out of the habit of just picking up literally everything you see is... Uh, it's going to be a little tricky. It's going to be a little tricky because, I like, by the looks of it, we don't really have the health to just constantly be picking stuff up. That's really good, though. I could have diplopied it, but 35 is, is a lot to spend. Ooh, birthright. On death, receive uh, funeral insurance. Funeral insurance grants permanent stage 5 boost, plus 100 luck and 27 coins. I'm not exactly sure what that means, <laughs> but I like it. Hey, we refill our slot again so we get more damage. I love that mechanic. Makes nickels very, very, very valuable. Now, I do wonder if I, if instead I filled it with a Fiend Folio coin. Dude, I lost it again straight away. Or if I filled it with a dime, what bonus I'd get then. I'm, I'm imagining it'd be a larger bonus uh, based on the type of coin that I put in it, maybe. Dude, I'm getting, like, golden chests from, like, destroying poops and stuff, so I'm not... That's definitely something to do with this character, right? Because that happened earlier as well. Another golden... The golden pennies are so bugged out. It's because they're, like, unique pennies. They're doing some weird shenanigans. I wonder if golden pennies would do something, like, more unique if that wasn't... If I wasn't using that. Yeah, look, like, all my pennies there just became random stuff.
Sadly, rainbow poops don't do anything for us. Yeah, so just all pennies just become random stuff, which is pretty goddamn good, but also, like, tempting fate. It's it's pretty dangerous. Hey, these are pennies we can actually pick up. Lovely. And we got ghost bombs out of that as well. Very nice. I'll take another few bombs. We've got 22 bombs, so we can actually use ghost bombs reasonably effectively here. Oh, dude, that bomb, like, got, like, caught up in me there. Beautiful stuff. HP up spawn a random object. D4. Ooh. I'd be tempted if I didn't have, um... I'm going straight out of there. I'd be tempted if I, if I didn't have Birthright, but I'm actually curious to see how Birthright's going to work for us. Because at the minute, we could basically go whole hog. Like, we don't have to worry about anything because we know that we've got this revive backed up and ready to go. We still haven't been hit while not having protection, though, so we don't know how much gold we lose, how much uh, money we lose when we die. That's still a bit of a worry for us. We're on our lower damage profile at the minute as well, because we've not got a nickel in our eye. Ow, I did take damage there. Okay, so I didn't take, I didn't take tons of damage there. I don't even know how much I took. I don't think it was a lot. Hello, other boss. Maybe I should be taking pills. Like I said, now that I've now that I've got like this this revive ready as a just in case, I can play a bit riskier and I can I can take some stupid stuff, make some bad decisions, pick up all the stuff that I see. I think I think that's gonna be the way that we play this right now. That's not secret room. Wow, very much spoke to me a secret room that did. Jump into the fires, please. Jump into the fires. Thank you. Thank you. Unfortunately, oh, what did I do that for? I just walked right into that red fire. Not a great item here. So we're taking damage, but it's not doing that much to us. So this guy's actually pretty, pretty tanky. Oh, dude, okay, okay. I've just noticed something. I've just noticed something. As we're losing coin stacks, we are losing the amount of tears that we fire. So we're now on only two. So these basically aren't meant to be pennies. That's what's going on here. Jar of flies would be kind of interesting. So yeah, now we're only firing 2020 two tiers. But that, is, that has increased our fire rate, though, by the looks of it. So it's not a terrible thing. 2020 is probably about what you want. So it's maybe a good idea to get down to this level. It's a weird one. I like it. It's very unique. It's very different. Did manage to blast that guy away. I'm going to come in here and blow my beans. There you go. <gasps> PJs. What does that do for us? Nothing? Yeah, nothing. <laughs> I had a feeling it'd be nothing. But yeah, th at this point, I'm just I'm just accepting death. I am, I am fully accepting death, and I'll just, like, play as I play and die when I die. Because I've got this birthright backing me up, ready to go. We are in pretty low coinage already here. We're also getting a lot of flies, and that's when hearts spawn, isn't it? We're getting flies, which is rather decent for us. So we are almost on to only firing one tier at a time. I think once we get down to 20 coins, maybe. Maybe 25. Oh, <clears throat> that was really stupid of me. It, it actually kind of worked out. It allowed me to push my bomb more effectively. So I think we lose three coins per hit, which is a very low amount, considering. Matchbook. Yeah, there you go. So now we're only firing one tier. But that didn't increase our fire rate at all, so definitely a downside for us there. But I am in the, the home stretch of, of, of killing myself now. But um, yeah, obviously my damage is, is quite weak now. I, I, I still don't have a, a nickel filling up my slot either to get the extra damage. So I need to be doing that. I want to try and fill it with some other coins. I want to see if I can get a dime in there and see if that's like double the damage boost. Or maybe it's a fire rate boost instead. I'm not sure what to expect, to be honest. I'm not sure what to expect. I get down to 13. Oh, we got a giant poop, baby. Wasn't expecting the giant poop. 
Dude, golden poops are amazing. <laughs> they give you so much stuff. The giant poops in the way. Removes all the passive item, spawns two. Ooh, yes. We will go for that. Thank you. A secret room's here as well. We can use it right now. I'm trying to bomb this to get some stuff out of the way, so I've got some space to work with here. Uh, monsters have a chance to drop spinning coins on death. Ooh, that's very good for us. And that's also kind of nice. Whoa! Did we die? Yes, we did. We died. Okay, Birthright has been used. But we are back up to four coins now. We gained a bunch of luck, obviously. We gained 27 coins to work with. So now we've got to be a bit more cautious about how we play things here. But that, that birthright is pretty goddamn good. The birthright is pretty goddamn good. I like the fact that we're at four, um, firing four coins now, which I'm not exactly sure why we are, based on the, the health amount. I'm guessing it's something special to do with the birthright and how that works, but I'm definitely going to be very accepting of it for right now. I'm throwing no qualms up about this. What's, what's, what's this thing here? Inkwell. Killing a champion gives you a charge on use, gives your traveling tier special effects based on kill champion for that charge. That's pretty cool. That's an enlightenment item as well. Let's try that out. It's, it's not as good, but let's try it out. We also gained... Oh, there you go, because we, we changed over our coin coinage, I see. I'm hoping this spinning coin thing helps us out here. We're on very low uh, coin amounts right now. So I've got to be really careful. But I've got enough consumables to not have to pick anything up anymore. I've got to be wary of that fact and not actually pick anything up by accident. Because you, you, you know I will. Oh, man. This is seeming tricky. Good. Managed to hit you with a bomb as well. I'm just going to throw another bomb out there because the ghosts will do some damage. I did hear a spinning coin drop there. There it is. Right, I just want to check the spinning coins. The spinning coins do actually give me money. I was really hoping they would. And I'm very, very glad to see that they do. Because that, that gives us a method of getting back some coins to refill our health. Which is... A little, a little tiny bit cheaty, I guess, because um, it's not normal for this character. Oh, dude. Accidentally walked straight out the door there. Come on, drop some spinny coins. Dude, that guy hit me. I also need to turn off the goddamn special curses because some of these can be evil. Some of the tiers that I fire are different sizes. Is that to do with angry, uh, the, the, the angry onion, whatever it's called, red onion? Good. Yeah, I'm going to need a lot more spinning coins to get back up to a good amount of money here, because at the minute, I'm in a tough spot. There's one. There's another. Oh, I missed that one. God damn it. I don't want any of that stuff. I do want to do this boss, though. Dude, that was evil. Oh, dude, we're so dead. Mozzie is a really, really hard boss, in my opinion. That has some attacks that I'm still not very familiar with. Luckily, she's pretty easy to kill. But I'm not the most confident with Mozzie yet. Definitely one of the harder bosses from Boss Butch. But a really, really cool addition to the game. And then we got this fella, which I do not like. There we go. We got him. Any coin drops? Oh, there's a nickel, baby. Beautiful stuff. Seems like bosses have a higher chance of giving us money. We're back into our next level. If we can somehow manage to get up to uh, a crazy amount of money, that'd be good. But I yeah, I don't think that's going to happen, especially when I keep getting hit. <laughs> Where's my nickels at? I need a nickel eye keeper to... Uh... Ooh. Ooh, look, Penny. It did fill it. It did fill it. 
We've got some protection on our health, but I don't know what that does for us, because my damage didn't go up this time, so I'm not sure. Maybe it just gave us some luck. Like some extra luck on top. It, it, it did give us plus two, which isn't normal. That isn't anywhere near as good as five damage, though. Um, ooh. I would rather spend the money here. Oh, I'm a little sad about that. I mean, the look is nice. The look is nice. But that was not a worthy trade, and I've put my health in major jeopardy. Yeah, I really wish that using this would um, would give you money back. That would be a really good way to like balance this character. Although, I, I get that it's probably just meant to be a challenge character, so giving you ways to easily regain your health is probably not the goal the developer was going for, so I kind of get it. But it would be nice to have a way of regaining some uh, some HP, because I'm, I'm in a bit of a hole right now. But, but, that's my own fault for playing, uh, playing silly games. I took way, way more things than I ever needed to. I mean, I don't think any one of this character is supposed to have 26 bombs. I'm just trying to think of some other ways that'd be really, really good at making money. Also, I haven't, uh, I haven't managed to really charge up my active too much. Oh, dude, that was not a good hit. I'm not exactly sure what's going on right now. Oh my goodness. This was not good. This was not good. Spin down dice is very nice. Just desperately looking for ways to, um, for ways to keep my HP alive, but I keep accidentally walking into things and spending my HP. And then the spinning coins thing has lied to me. I thought I was going to be getting spinning coins out the wazoo, and... Sadly, I barely get one a room. See, now this is the situation, look, where you can use that to get things out your way. That's exactly why that exists. Stuff like this, just getting stuff out of the pathway in front of you to make sure you don't accidentally grab them. It's ideal, really. It's something that, that this character needs. And I'm guessing the, the developers realize that pretty early on, that to die to something like that would just feel kind of awful. Um, I'd like that, but unfortunately it's over some spikes, which right now I do not have the capacity to, uh, to walk over. I don't really know what's going on right now. Drop coins, please. How dare you? That's an interesting idea. <laughs> that doesn't work for us either. I guess I could spin down on these to see if I get anything good. Ooh, Imp Sword is pretty good for a spin down. With this much luck, yeah, I think Imp Sword is going to be really good. And booster shots also gonna be really, really good. Puts our health in dire, dire positions, but I think damage-wise, it's it's sitting as pretty. I'm, I'm, I won't lie. I'm very worried about my my potential life. Okay. Um. I guess take the Polaroid. I'm going to check in here, but I can't imagine there's be anything in here that I'd want. Yeah. <laughs> nothing. I guess there's quite a few things I'd want, actually, but for right now, nothing. I'm a little sad that this active item isn't as usable as I thought it would be. I thought I'd have charges for this, like, non-stop, but seemingly not. Dude, that was way too close for comfort, my lad. Oh, dude. A dime there is is absolutely amazing for us. Unfortunately, it doesn't count as a real dime. So, oh, dude, I got hit. It doesn't count as a real dime, so we don't end up getting a... Um, I need to be really careful here. Dude, what am I doing? Uh, we don't get a, a, a slot filled with it, which is slightly annoying. Because it's not a real dime, but... Dude, I lost so much of that money. I was on 18 coins, and I went all the way down to 11 in a single room because of stupidity. But having all this luck, I'm using Birthright to get all this luck and being able to utilize it with their Imp Soda here is real, real nice. 
I'm liking that quite a bit. I'm, I'm hoping now that we're in the later floors, we should hopefully be seeing um, coins drop from enemies more often. Really, you didn't eat that? Oh, this guy, yeah, that's it. You've got to be dropping coins. Yeah, that guy gave us three. One for each segment. I appreciate it, my guy. I appreciate it. Okay, I'm actually kind of glad to be doing extra rooms here. I just want to get myself above 25 and get myself a nickel locked in. Give us some protection on our health. That would be ideal. I will take this. It's a pretty big boost to our fire rate for one coin. Ooh, that was not good. But a nickel there brought us back up to what we just lost, which is nice. But that was not a good hit to take. I'm taking some just really bad damage here. This character is really, really cool. I like it a lot. The unique take. Certainly. So now we've got our active charged up and ready. Ooh, that was... That worked pretty well. And it only uses one pip pair. Why'd I open that chest? I'm stupid. I keep forgetting that opening chests also costs money. Right, all these extra rooms are doing us a service here. Dude, really? You're going to put the coin somewhere? It's completely unobtainable. How dare you. This guy's going to drop a lot of coins that I want. Yes, managed to get him. Okay, we're up to 20 now. We've managed to grab a few. We are making our way towards potentially being able to afford some stuff. By afford, I mean live. <laughs> right. So, I fire this and then pop that and it does some status effects. It's not a great... It's not a great idea for a... Oh, dude! I got tricked! This isn't Duke of Flies at all. I mean, he's dead, but... <laughs> well, he's not quite dead. He's... There you go. Now he's dead. That was some tomfoolery right there. Fire rate. Very, very nice. I can't believe we got more fire rate from a random pickup than we did from that there. That's just silly. It definitely seems like enemies with higher HP have a much higher chance of dropping the spinning coins. Stuff like spiders and stuff just never do. Oh, there was a laser there that I didn't see. Stupid. Oh, so stupid. That looks like secret room to me. Sadly, not a good secret room for us here. I do not like this room either. Dude, the crits are going crazy for us right now. And we do have eight luck, so they should be, to be honest. Ooh, that was close. Very, very good item, and just good to be fighting bosses. Multi-segment bosses would be ideal game. Anything that's going to drop more than one coin for us. It's not multi-segment, but it is multi-boss. That's something, at least. Oh, the nickel. Oh, baby. We're getting close. We're getting close. I wonder if there's something I'm missing with this character about, like, genuine ways to gain money back. There must be other ways to do it. Because, especially if you don't get birthright, the finite amount of uh, of health having is, is scary, man. This character's got to be, like, an insane risk to, to play well. Good, no pennies though, game, no pennies. Oh, the piercing with the crit is just magnifique. That's a coin, that's a coin, that's a coin. I want it, I want it, I want it. We are two coins away, two coins away from upping our stats. And we just got them here, I think. That we did, baby! Hell yes, we are back in the money. Dude, that fire rate increase is nutty. That fire rate increase is huge for us right now. 
having higher coins ups your DPS so much. Oh, get away from me, get away from me, get away from me. Now I've just got to keep this bonus alive, which... Yeah, not entirely sure how well that will go. I don't think we're going to be getting up to the next bonus level. We might, because um, the cathedral. We'd have to, like, not get hit the entire time on the way there, which honestly isn't super realistic for me. Now, this gurgling may be a boss, but that version of the gurgling isn't actually a boss. Did you know there was an enemy gurgling and a boss gurgling? And when the when you find gurglings in random rooms, it's an enemy, not a boss. Intriguing. We're up to 29 at the minute. Okay, boss time. Should be able to absolutely muller her here if we get good crits. There you go. Only one coin. I'd like to be able to get that coin. Dude. That's some bullshit. <laughs> that was some bullshit that it just put an unlock in front of my face. Um... I know how to bug this area out, so I like going down here now. It's a little bit cheaty, but... Basically... Oh, wait, no. I've messed up. I'm not using god mode anymore. Oopsie daisy. Um... Yes, I'll take that. I will not take either of those, otherwise I'll go down to 24. Pop, pop, would be nice. You can buy a chest. Wait, what did the liar do? I, I, I have 15% chance to shoot tiers that deal a minimum of 15 damage. The tier also deals 15 damage of splash damage and confuses nearby enemies. Chance to shoot splash tier increases up to a maximum of 16. Okay. I'm not going to open those chests, obviously. Yeah, for some reason I thought I was still using god mode. So this, like, this might actually be kind of hard. I may have I may have ballsed up a little bit here. Yeah. That doesn't bode well. There's no way of us gaining money in here either, really. There is enemies, but it's not gonna be enough. Ah, I may have I may have messed up here. Oh dude, no, don't don't be hitting me like that, please. Oh, there you go. Holy shit. Yeah, this, this, this active is kind of meh. The fact that it only affects you once, it should be like the next five seconds or ten seconds you get a different shot type. That did barely any damage for us. This is all about survival. Could you get up out the ground? Thank you. Okay, so this could be where we get some coins here. But because they're flies, I wouldn't wouldn't count on it. Yeah, I didn't expect to get many, really. We've got him down to, like, a, th a third of the way down. But that's not really great. I'm liking this confusing stuff, though. That's nice. But yeah, didn't think we'd see any coins, and we didn't. I mean, these guys, this could be a different story. In fact, I see one there already, but it's nestled into all of the enemies. That he just won't stop spawning. There's also a lot of fire here. Yeah, I missed I missed out on all of those, I think. But I spawned a bunch of these little dudes, which is nice. I'm just going to let you nestle into the fire there. This is going reasonably well right now. You can see the warping's happening a little bit with my uh, lossless scaling mod, but at least it isn't lagging. Even though, even though I know the game is still technically lagging, visually it's not lagging, it's just playing slower. I'd much prefer to play slower than to play at an unplayable, watchable frame rate. I think you'd all agree. 
It's all the fires, I think, that are causing us to lag at the minute. And all these crit symbols coming up on occasion. That's pretty funny as well. I'm a bit worried for when he does the, the, the beams from the sky. The beams do worry me. Okay, we're almost there. If he could get up, up out the ground, that'd be lovely. If you could get up out the ground, that'd be lovely. Dude, look at the amount of these little fellas we've made. They are doing so much damage. But there you go. That was an unexpected hush fight. I was hoping to just glitch through it and cheat it, but didn't happen. Yeah, dude, I like your unlocks. Thank you, but could you get them out of my face? Either way, we'll go up. We shall head up, up, and away. Right. Right, now we've got to hope we get more coins, and it'd be also nice if we can find a few bosses dossing around, because they'll drop coins pretty much guaranteed. Ooh, brimstone ghosts. Luckily, they die pretty quick, actually. And, dude, this stunning, is this liar item, is really, really nice. We'll definitely grab that, because that'll give us a bonus of five damage. I really love that mechanic. Filling up different special coins to get different bonuses. Especially considering the one for Nickel is such a good bonus. And that's the one you want literally all the time, right? Okay. Oh, I saw a spinning coin there and missed it. I don't think it'll be there when I head back in the room, unfortunately. Oh, nope, it was, but... The timer was still running while I was out the room, so it expired while I was in there. Dude, that was an insane shot. That homing shot was absolutely bollocks. We were nearly there. We were nearly back. Oh, dude, that fire's not mine. Oh, that's tragic. That is tragic. I thought that was my fire. Right, come on, crits. What's going on with you? I want even more crits. Dude, this guy just wrecked me. There you go. We got him with some crits there at the end. Ah, oh, the coin, man. I missed it again. Okay, now we're in the risky point. We should get more coins on average, but the, the risk of taking damage is uh, vastly increased. All of those are complete and utter garbage and cost me my life. I am offended. Good, good. Don't like this as a room. This looks ooky spooky for me. Ah, that was really, really close. Fuck it, I'm just gonna bomb through here to kill this guy, because otherwise this room's gonna last forever. Good, he's dead. Oh my god, this room is, is causing issues. Are you the last one? I think you are. Yes, you are. See, I could get more items here, but they're going to cost me a lot of HP. There's some money there. That hit me. Lovely. I mean, at this point, nine lives is not a bad one to take. <laughs> I've got to say. What does this do? We've just unlocked this. Taking damage drops a plant, watering the plant with tears will make it grow. When it uh, blooms, shooting tears through it will give unique effects. That's a really cool idea, but I can't afford to take it right now. Dude, when the crits hit. Oh my lord, when the crits hit. Something special happens in my brain. Right, considering we have nine lives, I'm just going to go for the boss here, I think. Ooh, 
This isn't going to be ideal, but if we land some good crits, he should die pretty fast. Oh god, I'm taking some bad damage right now. Okay, last phase, which is definitely potentially the hardest, depending on what attacks he decides to do. I don't like the, the ever-moving orb that's coming towards me. That's not good. No, I died! But I killed him. Um, there's a bunch of things in front of the door there. Okay, I did kill him, but it didn't count. Oh, dude, this is going to be rough. Can I, can I use this to get rid of that? Yes, I can. Good. There's a tears up there as well. I guess I just got to try and one-shot this for now. Shouldn't be too hard. I say that. Ah, oh, the herming shots, the... I like the fact that when I die, I become back my money. It's pretty funny. Just looking for, like, potentially better items here that we could utilize. I feel like Pop hasn't been the rousing success I was hoping it would be. Oh god, I'm just going to have to go for it again, aren't I? I suppose, dude, the homing shots are insane. The herming shots keep getting me. I'm going to get that desk plant. See if that desk plant does us any good. But yeah, it's the herming shots he fires that are getting me at the minute. Pretty much every time he fires a herming one, it hits me. It's just they get mixed in with all the other shots so easily. Pop might be really good here for us. Not even entirely sure what hit me then. Dude, get away from me. You're so close. Dude, you were so close to me then. Why? This is really rough. I can't believe we actually killed him and then died. It's so upsetting. Build up as many crit shots as we can on top of him. I heard a dime or something drop there. That swinging attack, I've just not got the speed to get away from it. That didn't. Wow. I was really hoping that would be something really cool, the glitch card. It was terrible. It looks like we're unfortunately not going to win here. Because just I just don't see a way that it's going to be plausible. This guy is really hard to do no hit, apparently. Oh my god, I'm so terrible at this game. Right, one life. I've got to go back and kill other stuff and try and get enough money to survive a few hits. I need to be able to survive a few hits. I can't believe how bad our items were there as well. What on earth is this room? Get me the hell out of there. Oh, why'd I pick up that bomb? It was valuable, valuable HP that I just got rid of there. Also, why have none of these goddamn rooms got bosses in them? I was hoping for coinage and there's just no bosses in any of these rooms. Yeah, this was terrible. <laughs> this has been... So worthless so far. Where's all the bosses at? I thought it'd be so many rooms with bosses. What 
I only got one of those coins, goddammit. Oh, nickel, oh my god. Now you're speaking my language. Come on, last last few rooms, give us some stuff. The fires are certainly making things more confusing, I've got to say. I don't know what's going on here. Dude, that email notification down there was so goddamn loud. I don't know if you guys heard that as well, but it was so goddamn loud for me. God damn it, this has got to be like a record for most rooms without bosses on this floor. So, so many rooms without bosses. Right. Yeah, still stand by, this should give you one penny per time you use it. If you sacrifice something, giving yourself one penny back, it seems like a decent trade. Now that's pretty nice. Dude, that was some dumb shit that I just got hit by then. Okay, we're in last phase now. We're in last phase. Oh, we did it, baby! The due diligence pulled off. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. That was a lot of fun. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.